I'm here with this letter that I received from the department. Useless information regarding the TB. Does the people that compose this letter do they really have any knowledge if what goes through the farmer's heart when he sees a lorry back in to his farmyard to take away his animals? They advise me that I should get rid of all my animals, cows that's in this herd at the moment. Cows that are my pride and joy. A cow, an example, on this herd, 142. I went down three years ago in December, she calved at 12 o'clock at night and I went down, the calf was knuckling on the joints, he couldn't get up. I went into the field, she stood quietly in the field and I got the calf up on my knee with the, the light of the mobile phone, held it in my hand, it was falling, put it into my mouth, spent an hour and a half and I got that calf sucking. The sense of achievement that was in my heart when I got that calf going and they tell me, get rid of these cows. Do you know that that cow was more intelligent? She knew that I was helping her. She stood in the field. She was more intelligent and there was more nature in that animal than there was in the person that composed this letter. They don't have any risk about to talk about the people that makes money out of a breakdown that got called in my herd last year when two animals went away at different times. Let's go through them, who they are. The vet has to come, get and test the animals on several occasions. The department staff, they have to get paid. The valuer, he has to get paid. The haulier, the department vet for coming to do a blood test on the animals. The factory, the vet's working in the factory. That tested one of my cows and told me that there was no visual lesions in that animal. So that was 50% of my animals that went away had no visual lesions in them. So then they had no TB in them. Yet they tell me to get rid of all the rest of my animals. You have the badger investigator that comes, running around the country collecting badgers. There's no mention of him in this report. How the badger, the assessment of them, 33% of them is, is tested with TB. There's no mention of them. The laboratory that does the tests, they have to get paid. The meal suppliers, when I was locked up last year, I got no support from the department. I had to do it all myself. I got not a shilling to support the supplies that I had to buy from the meal supplier. You have the supplier of the injection that they inject into the animals. You have the co-ops, you have to buy the disinfectant. I could go on. There's thousands. It's a money racket. They don't, they don't have any concern for the farmer. They don't mention all that money that's involved. They're at it since Adam was a boy. Can they get a cause for it? No. But yet, they can do a risk assessment for something that they can't know the cause, the cause of it. They're at it for 50, 60 years, but no, they can't get it, they can't find it. They don't want to find it, because there's too much money involved, as I pointed out. This letter is useless. It's as useless as a nursery on a motorbike, and I'm burning it here today, in pure rage. And it won't burn, but I'd tear it up. It's, it's a disgrace. If the minister, there was no minister in, in, in power at the time, he wasn't around. Where was he? It was the Taoiseach. Michal Merton, were you, did you sign off on this letter? If you did, I wouldn't mind having a word with you. It's a disgrace to send that out to a farmer. As I said, that see a lorry backing into his yard to take away his animals. No consideration for them at all. Thank you.